How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I am doing a donation video and this is from Christina who donated $50 for me to go and do the spray tan. So this is a preview of the tan. So thanks Christina for your donation. Now I looked all over the Bay Area to see which is a good one and this one right here over in Cupertino um, I thought it looked clean enough so then I'm like okay I'll go try it over here. To give you a good indication of what my tanning color looks like I'm gonna uh, show you in different lighting. It's $27.50 for one spray tan. Okay apparently it's set at medium right now there's a low medium and very very dark. I know Christina you said you wanted me to get the darkest possible but um you know, I don't want to, you know, be completely different. They give me these little sticky foot thingies. It doesn't make sense to use any kind of slippers because I think the little thing covering your foot um, is not going to get tanned. Some sort of lotion over here. This lotion is so that um, whatever you put it on, um, it's not going to get dark. I just put it on my palms, supposedly on the bottom of the palm over here. This is the machine. There's some controls over here. And inside the machine, there is this back thing. I think this is just to blow dry you. You start in A, so facing towards the camera. And this is the spray thing. This thing is on a conveyor. It goes up and down. It says every seven seconds or so. So I'm gonna get undressed and then get into this thing. Over here is the start stop button it seems. Never done this before. I hope I don't get incredibly dark and weird looking. So let's go. This is spray tan blocker. You don't want your palms to be uh, tanned. So this is what this is for. I'm gonna adjust the hair net. Welcome, please face the nozzles and assume position A. Press the start button to begin your session. Oh boy, I'm gonna start it now. Ha <laughs> ha Okay! Please exit the booth carefully. Thank 
you for choosing pure sunless. That was interesting. Okay, I forgot to mention that um, when I'm spray tanning, I have to leave a little bit of room between my armpits and I also have to squat slightly. Uh, when I'm facing forward, my hands are down, and when I face the back, it has to bend up like this, I assume, to not spray your palms. How does it look? It's not supposed to uh, be darker just yet. Um, it needs time to develop over four hours to eight hours or so. Apparently, if I don't want it to wash develop any... We'll begin what? Wash down. Three, two, okay. one. Cool. Where does the water go? I guess it just drains down. It just kind of sprays things with water. This is great. I think I feel a little bit more tan already. It looks pretty good, I think. I can take this off. One thing I'm concerned about is when it's spraying, I try to not breathe it in, but there's going to be all this aerosolized stuff in the air. Ow. So this is my color in the shade again. Here it is, in the sun. My arm here, in the sun. My arm here, in the shade. It looks kind of like bronze, I like it. This is the next day, I actually wash it off about 10 hours after. They say if you wash it off sooner, then it's not gonna develop as much. So I basically got it as dark as I can on the medium level, and this is what it looks like. When I look at it in the camera right now, it's not as dark as when I'm seeing it in real life. I'm comparing it with what I see in the mirror right now and what I see in the camera, and what I see in the camera is several shades lighter for one reason or another. So this is what it looks like and it seems like my hands did get a little bit tinted. Over here right at the bottom of my palm, somehow it's a little bit darker. I did put that lotion thing on there. You can see my arm, it's pretty dark on the hand and then my arm is not as dark. Well, I started this way anyhow. So I think wherever that's darker, well, it's gonna get even darker because it's an even coating. It's not completely natural looking but i think when you're wearing clothes and stuff it looks more natural if you're not looking for imperfections in the tan i think it looks pretty natural myself it certainly seems like i went to the bahamas or something for a week so you know i like it this is all i have for you for today don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon thanks for watching